Well, we've been full blown in our uh, preparations for Iowa uh, since Wednesday night. It's been an interesting couple of days in the sense of that not even having close to enough guys to be able to practice yesterday and then today not really being able to go uh, in any type of full court or five on five mode. Uh, we've, had, we've had our live group and our walkthrough group. So that's been a little bit different, but that's just kind of par for the course with where we're at right now. And uh, we're trying to nurse uh, the injuries that we're dealing with right now that, that, that hopefully won't keep people out of games and at the same time try to be re rehabilitate the ones that are keeping people out of games. But our spirit has been great. Our mindset is excellent. Uh, I think our team knows the task at hand with Iowa and certainly playing them as recent as we have uh, puts things in perspective there that they're a really, really good team. And, and, and uh, I don't think we needed to see the Michigan State game to have that uh, be etched in our uh, minds. But certainly when you watch them play Michigan State, the way they attacked them the other night, then you, you see it again. So we've got to be really good in, in so many different areas. Last year they really, or last, or a couple weeks ago, I should say, not last year, a couple weeks ago they hurt us in transition. Uh, they drove the ball on us way too easy. And uh, we didn't have a very good offensive game. But uh, the whole key for us right now is to make sure that, that we don't get down, that we keep believing, that we don't let uh, who's in or who's out affect our mindset and uh, that they just continue to, to build their confidence. And that's what we're trying to do. Well, we don't have an, a, a total expectation other than what I said the other day. I would say next Saturday would be a very outside, uh, remote possibility. Um, we're very hopeful that it would be the week after that. And... Uh, could go deeper. I mean, it's it's too early to tell. It's too early to tell. The the the, uh, the surgery is is too fresh. It's too recent. So we, we have to see how it heals. But it's but it but I we do expect him back. I mean, it's not like it's a, we don't see it as a season ending injury. So you know, and any time like we said before, any time that he's missing time, it's not good because he was playing so well. I mean, he really was at another level last Sunday, and uh, and just I keep saying edge, and I know. You know what what I think Ed should look like in him and it was a pretty good example of how it should look so you hate to see him go down for him um, and, and, it, and it's going to affect our team at some point there's no question he's just too good he, he's he's too much of a score he's too much of a of a focal point for the other team but we're trying to do the best we can inside of that and uh, there's still limitations on Verdell a lot of limitations on him and we're just trying to you know, just do the best we can. It's a day-to-day -day process and it, it, for us with these guys um, uh, continuing to improve their health. And so it's a day-by-day -day thing for us with how we get ready for games. No, there, there is no... There is no, there, it, it's, it's never a product of one thing. It's, it's never like the light bulb goes on. It's just, it's a combination of many things. And, and um, it's just, remember, we, we played pretty well a couple nights earlier at Wisconsin, especially defensively, and we played really well a week earlier against Michigan. So it's just a matter of, of, of really stringing stops together defensively more than anything else, I think. There, there's a lot of area for improvement right now with us, and, and, and we address it and we work on it. And at the same time, you want them to have the belief that they're getting better, which they are, but also the understanding that they can get better, which they need to. So it's not as much about, you know, we're doing this so well, we're, we're doing that so well in the last couple of weeks. It's just a product of getting better at everything. And um, uh, what they have done a really good job of is every game has been its, it's, been its own game, you know, especially defensively, you know, with a game plan for it. And uh, they have really understood that and done an excellent job inside of the games with that since that game. You mentioned kind of the reflections from home for Iowa. How much is the last two games you guys have had with those guys? Especially that it's improved. Well, I don't know. I, I think with the, the most the, the most recent one is the most fresh, obviously, because we just played it and we didn't play very well. And they played very well. But uh, we let them do some of those things. And they have a good team. I mean, we had 965 points coming back. It's not like they didn't have good players coming back. So, um, you know they they know what they're doing. They're well coached, and uh, they're they're a tough, aggressive 
bunch of young men. There's no doubt about that. So, but but you never know. I mean, you, it's a constant uh, battle to make sure that your guys understand that the reasons you win have a lot to do with execution. They have a lot to do with with the the X's and O's of the game, but it has a lot more to do with your mindset, with your spirit, with your toughness level, with your energy level. Those are the things that we've got to continue to control no matter who's out there. One of the concerns you talked about after the last Iowa game was the interior defense. What are you looking for in this game, especially without Watford and the interior defense? We just play better. We want to play better. I mean, we, we want to play better in every aspect. So it's not like it's just the interior. It's not like it's just the perimeter. It's not like it's just transition. It's not like it's just the shot clock. We want to be better defensively all the time. We don't have much of a chance to win if we're not if we're not good defensively and if we're not good on the backboards. It's hard to tell. It, it, when I say it's day to day, I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not being evasive. I mean it's 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 just a matter of how he feels and and uh, how he continues to progress and how he continues to rehabilitate. I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect much more. I mean, I wish I could, but I, I wouldn't. But I mean, it's still day to day. How are you seeing the Iowa team fall by the last line of this game? Oh, I don't think they've, I, I think they're the same team. I think they play, uh, when they're aggressive, I mean, they're, they're, they've got really good players. I mean, they've got guys that have been through the battles here. Jared Cole has been through it. Matt Gatins has been through it. Eric May got a lot of time last year. Uh, they've done an excellent job improving their players. There's no doubt about that. And uh, the freshmen have come in and the junior college transfer, Basabi and, and Cartwright, they've come in and they've really added to it. But uh, they're a good team. They're a good team. And, and, and I think anybody looking at it at the beginning of the year, I know especially I did, knowing that Fran was a very good coach, but also knowing what they had back, it was hard to look at those guys not thinking they were going to be pretty good. And maybe that's because we didn't play well against them last year. But... Uh, They've got a good team. I mean, it's not like uh, it's not like the cupboard was remotely bare walking in there. And, and he's done a good job of making them better. So they deserve that coaching staff deserves a lot of credit for that. But there were a lot of guys coming back that can play. Coach, how does JD Jennings from the alumni magazine and uh, we're, we've got a profile of Matt Roth coming up? Could you comment on his contribution so far this year and what you're expecting from him moving forward? Well, he continues to. Get better. He continues to to to. Whenever he's called upon, he's ready to go. I think a great example is a couple of weeks ago. He goes in the game four seconds later. He buries a three. I, I don't think there's any gym in any place in this country or any other where he couldn't go in and make a basket. He just got that kind of moxie as as, as a player. And what but what he's done is he's is he's gotten himself better. You know, right now he thinks he's Jimmer for debt with the way he's shooting those threes so quick. It wouldn't be bad if he got inside and got a two. Once in a while, but 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 he uh, he can make shots. He's he's improving defensively. His awareness all the time is getting better. Uh, he's been just an outstanding young man here. I think when you look at it, he, he was a very uh, had a very average first semester his freshman year academically, and he's on track to graduate in May inside of his third year. I mean that just says a lot about him. Extremely well raised. We we don't get credit for that here. That's his parents. Uh, well coached in high school, and again, just been model citizen here. Oh, it's part of it. It's part of it. I mean, it, it's all part of the challenge. And, and you know, you when you coach and when you lead, you don't get to pick and choose um, what aspects of it you like, and and you just don't. And and. You've got to you've got to be ready, and you've got to try to build a strategy for everything. I mean, it's it. it uh, I, I've said it before. I mean, if anybody looked at me or looked at the coaches and felt that we were downtrodden or or we were we, we were had any doubts, we'd give them every reason in the world to have them. I don't have any. I mean, it, it's it's. Uh, uh, and I'm at, I'm at a school uh, in a program that allows me to to go in with the coaches and I can just lock in as, as like we asked the players to, to do and plan and prepare and look at different things. I've got great staff to talk about different things with and uh, we just come out of there trying to give our guys the best opportunity to get better that day, regardless if it's a game plan or a shooting drill. You know, whatever it is that's going to give them the best opportunity to be better.